Hey creators, I'm Larimar. In this video, I create a pick a card reading and my readings are all about how to become the best version of yourself. And in this video, I specifically focused on the fastest track to your success. We have four piles of cards here and also we have four images here. So choose an image that you're most drawn to or the pile and feel free to pause this video if you need more time and before I get started, I want to start with shout outs. We are co-creating this experience all together. Your engagement like liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing this video really helped me grow my channel and continue this creative journey, which I really appreciate. And today's shout out goes to... So thank you so much. And if you're interested in getting featured, it's very simple. Just take a picture of this video and post it to your Instagram stories. Make sure to tag me Tara Day, which is my Tara account. And that is it. So without further ado, let's dive in. Okay, so if you pick the first image, this is the message for you. This reading is all about successful career, the fastest track to your success. Ooh, okay, so you've got surrender to success. You're ready to experience abundance. Don't look back at previous roadblocks or difficulties. Leap into an exciting new world of possibilities. You know, I found that this affirmation is really good. I personally found. So if you ever doubt that you're, you can't be successful because of whatever reason, because there are a lot of competitions going on in the world, you know, I highly recommend writing down this statement and speak to yourself. The positive affirmations are really effective. Ooh, you got, you're on the right path. Keep doing what you're doing because it's working. You've got mindful creation. TikTok. Tulip. And cracked open. It says rock bottom, surrender to the alchemy of life. So the fastest track to your success. So you're definitely on the right path. The only thing that can delay your success is your own mindset, your self-doubt. And a lot of you guys may be a creative artist or it could be entrepreneurs. You're creating something out of nothing. I'm also picking up a lot of logical vibes from you. So it could be engineering or like you're scientific minded. I think you have a really good skills, technical skills. You may not have mastered the business skills, which can be learned, of course. But I feel like you, your asset, your biggest asset is your logics, your creative ideas. From group one, I'm picking up that uh, you are really good at packaging things up your ideas may not be like the most innovative in the world i mean i feel like creativity is a reorganization like creative reorganization of something that exists already you could be gemini i'm picking up a lot of like geminian air qualities like aquarius and libra your words minds and thoughts are pivotal to your success could be communication as well the fastest track to your success this is about social socializing networking so you need to involve in your community so be more personal this is more personable qualities whether it be career or relationship it's all about human relationship you know in business people categorize the business models into b2c or b2b business to consumers direct consumers or business to business but in the end, it's all about human to human relationship and you need the social qualities. And I think you already have it, but when you invest more in social activities and getting, oops, getting to know your customers, collaborators, business counterparts, it's going to increase the chance of success significantly. And the TikTok, the time, I feel like the timing plays a key role. So if you have any inspiration, act upon it right now. 
Like, don't think that you have enough time because when you start procrastinating, you can end up putting off forever. You know, I'm a big believer that everything is abundant, but at the same time, all we have is now. The present moment. If you don't act upon your passion right now, the momentum is going to be delayed until you start taking action. So act right now. Regardless of what you do right now, I feel like you can come out of your shell and start presenting something new. Something wants to be expressed out of you. And when you let it happen, it's gonna be、uh, beautiful. It's going to help you. Become financially well off and gain respect, reputation, and social rep social recognition. And for some of you, I feel like this is about getting invited from a particular community club or getting praise, compliments. I'm getting a specific message from some of you. If you guys are a product developer, make sure that you make use of reviews or testimonials. And invest in the relationship that you already have, because I feel like people are going to help you go on to the next level and keep investing in your inspiration. And you have a really great ideas and logical, scientific-minded practicality, practical mindset. So just take action right now, and it's very important. I think this is one of the most important thing. Out of this deck, surrender to success. If you have all these qualities and skills, assets, and you know human resources, capitals, but if you don't believe in yourself, you're not going to succeed. Because whatever you believe in is reflected outwardly. Be confident and claim your success. You can have it, but this does not mean、um, being overly obsessed with the results. And outcomes. Just enjoy your creative journey, and and start connecting to people that you like genuinely resonate with. Don't fake it. And as long as you take action upon your inspiration without procrastination, you can express who you are, and you're definitely on the right path. I feel like you're already on the right path. So keep moving. So this advice could be acting as a booster. So yeah, this is the message for you: the fast track to your success. And I want to turn it over to you. Let me know how you resonate with it, what you love the most, and like this video. Consider subscribing and hit the little bell button so you don't miss the new video. Also, if you enjoy tarot, follow me on Instagram, Tara Day. You can get daily tarot posts for self love, self care, self empowering messages. I hope this is helpful. By the way, I also do many things other than tarot, so feel free to browse through my channel. And I hope you have a great day. Thank you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. All right. So if you pick the second image or The second pile. This is the message for you. The fastest. This reading is all about fastest track to your success, successful career. So let's see what cards you have. You have got ascending spirit. Star family. It says you're part of a team of souls. Call in support. You've got stork. This indicates a birth of new ideas. It could be an actual birth. And <laughs> let's see.、Uh, I'll get to it later. Co-creation. You've got messenger of air. This is equivalent with knight of swords. Wiser later, you're a beacon for others, and trust trust your feelings and dreams to guide your career path. So first of all, what's very prominent from Group Two is Messenger of Air. So your career, your success, would be highly related to your communication.、It、could be about writing, reporting, blogging, 
podcast, possibly YouTube as well, you are capable of delivering messages with upliftment. It can inspire other people. It could be like a thought leader. You can motivate others. So it's very important that you uh, come out of your comfort zone and be more proactive in regards to communication. You also have a very creative ideas and you're really good. Uh, you can be better off when you're collaborating with someone. This interaction itself inspires you and it can give you a synergistic effect. And you also have star family. You're part of a team of souls. So you could be a really good team player or team leader. And yeah, rather than working alone separately, you can accomplish more when you're in a team environment, when you're able to collaborate with others. And you can also get inspiration from your workmates, colleagues, and I feel like definitely you're a leader. You inspire others. Either your words or action or both can inspire others. I would love to draw some astro dice for more details. Interestingly, for group two, I am picking up a variety of age groups. Some of you would be really young in like teenagers. Some, of, some can be in their 40s and even 50s. No, this is a general rating. So fastest track to your success. Oops. You've got the fourth house, Taurus, and Pluto. So some of you would be in a hospitality industry like restaurants, food, and manufacturing of any sort. No, Taurus represents manufacturing all physical things. You could thrive in real estate and something that has to do with land, ocean, the earth, the crust of the planet. Could be about marine life as well. Something that has to do with protection. Could be nurturing people with food or could be teaching little kids like kindergartners the fourth house is related to home house so it could be about interior designer home decoration home improvement architecture protection security industry it could be also about history archaeologist so Pluto is all about the agent of transformation so you can bring a lot of changes in your field and I'm feeling uh, a lot of emphasis on the fourth house in astrology. So yeah, you could be like involved in family business as well. The star family and the fourth house is about family. You can bring a new impacts on the existing like family business. It's very interesting. I'm feeling a really a diverse vibe from this group, but you can gain reputation as a messenger of some sort. I would highly recommend investing in marketing, advertising. Collaborative projects can give you a lot of boost and trust your feelings and dreams to guide your career path. Some of you might be not really sure of like making an executive decision. Rather than being on the top officer, top executive officer, your leadership style would be based on collaboration. You can thrive in teamwork environment. So making decisions through consensus, voting, and communication, again, co-creation, are going to help you gain reputation and respect and accomplish more. So that's what I'm getting. And you're very intuitive. It's interesting. The first group was more of like logical and left brain. You're very intuitive, like in tune with what's going on. You may have relatively high emotional intelligence. So don't ignore your gut feelings and focus on uplifting others. 
and embrace others, take care of people around you because when you treat them as a family, they're going to treat back in the same manner. So a lot of collaborative elements are present in your career. And if it, even if it's not strictly related to career, in order to gain success, like reputation and feel fulfilled by what you do, what, what you put out to the world, it doesn't have to be a like strictly profession. You can be a household, but the greatest fulfillment will be coming from being as a thought leader and taking care of others and nourishing protecting your family your tribe your soul family the like-minded and oh lastly i want to mention that this dork has a message for you that you are very fertile you can have abundant ideas creative ideas and products or service as well so make sure that you market it properly and that would be the fastest track to your success so this is the message for you group two and i would love to hear from you whether you resonated with that and what you love the most from this reading and if you liked it like the video and consider subscribing and hit the little bell button and follow Tara Day on Instagram to get daily Tara posts for self-love, self-empowering messages. I've been pretty active in that account lately, so you can stay connected with me. I hope this is helpful. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day. Bye. Okay, so if you pick the third image or the third pile, this is the message for you. You actually got two career cards. So you've got infinite abundance, fully supported as you devote yourself to your divine life purpose. You've got oracle cards. Okay, so you might be a tarot readers. Let's see, the seven of swords were the tarot cards. You've got anchor, which represents the stability. You've got the great serving, Mars energy, anger, conflict, softening to love. You've got cultivate compassion, discovering truth, and traveler, moving in a new direction. So what I'm picking up from this group is you would be a counselor of some sort like your the so this reading is all about the fastest track to your success and i mean you've got oracle cards and this may or may not literally mean that you're tarot readers but still your intuition plays significant roles in your career and I feel like you're using a lot of empathy, intuition, creativity, but more of like emotional, psychological aspects. You could be playing a mediative role, mediating conflicts of any sort. Fast success can be achieved through your proactive service. So focusing more on service sites, giving values to the lives of others, I don't feel like for most of you, uh, certain products or tangible matters do not play that significant roles. You may be dealing with a lot of emotion, complicated like social interactions, and you could be a counselor. For example, by the way, this one does not apply to you. This was for the second group. You could be helping others accumulate wealth as well like one-on-one -on -one environment or coaching teaching those kind of vibes are very prominent and focusing on stability consistency whatever you do put out your work or service on a consistent basis and that way you can build trust and authority and 
and position yourself as a good professional. If you're a student, it could be related to your academic performance. Anger is about being consistent, persistent, and putting a moderate level of your effort into certain things continually. It can also help people discover truth. Some of you may be attorney, lawyer, advisors. Again, I'm like, again, this feels like you are guiding people on a one on one basis. And you could be travel a lot. So,、uh, short trips, meeting new people in a local area. Your skills and assets can be. On demand.、Uh, however, in order to be successful, I think I feel like you'll be better off by focusing on local areas and expand from there. Like custom localization, that's what that's coming up. And let's pull some more information from Astro Dice. Oops. Okay, again, you've got ninth house. Ninth house is all about traveling, Sagittarius vibes, and teaching. Advising and looking at a broad vision, like catching the trends and providing prospective outlook of whatever fields you're associated with. You've got also Pluto, it's about change, transformation, and it could be also related to occult. So you could be a tarot reader. s And or a psychologist, counselor, helping people transform their deep seated emotions. And you've got Capricorn. So you might be Capricorn, or simply you're kind of invested in work, workaholic. And this could also indicate that working with older people, mature. Or people in an executive, like managerial positions. Capricorn represents authority. So you could be working for a corporation, institution, or a well established、uh, organization that has、uh, quite a long history. You know, it can mean a lot of different things. Capricorn rules something old and cold. Yeah, focusing on. Certain rules and principles could be about laws and bureaucratic process, legal matters as well. The ninth house represents law and anything, any principles or theoretical ideas, macroscopic perspective. And you could be a thought leader, motivation rather than no, not a thought leader, but motivation speaker. But maybe for a few p e r s o n But majority of you guys are like a teacher of some sort. Your assets are specialty. You have expertise, specialty, specific knowledge that other people can value highly. And you can help people figure out their way. And help people find a line with their purpose and career and achieve what they want. You could be helping others accumulate wealth, financial advisors. So, the fastest track to success your ability to empathize with others are gonna be key assets. That's gonna be a booster. Seven of Swords. This speaks to me that you have a penetrating insight. You can see things that others cannot. Others would usually overlook, and you can pinpoint it and make a really good argument or point and help people adapt to whatever new environments properly. So that's what is coming up. So, in order to have a successful career, use your empathy. And intuition, guidance, and focus more on service. You can actually capitalize on any sort of conflicts, any situations that are imbalanced. You can bring balance 
and mediate people, resolve conflicts through your expertise and helping people find the truth and take actions accordingly. So be more empathetic and service oriented. Don't be afraid of reaching out to a different type of audience you haven't considered. Because I feel like your assets, your gifts and service can be applied to many different areas. And from time to time, learn from others and feel free to tweak what you do. Like bring in new elements to whatever you do. And this kind of little changes can help you create refreshing image public persona and make things more interesting to others so that you uh, can easily attract more prospective customers or if you're entrepreneurs or prospective partners and you can basically earn more respect and reputation through small community or teamwork So do a lot of research and learn new skills and feel free to explore around your territory or or new fields you haven't tried yet. So this is the message for you. And now I would like to turn it over to you and I would love to hear from you what you resonated with the most and what you love the most from this reading. And like this video, consider subscribing and hitting the bell button so you don't miss the new video when I post. And and if you love tarot guidance, make sure you follow Tarot Day on Instagram so you can get daily posts for self-love, self-empowering messages. Yeah, so I think that is it. And I hope you have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Alright, so if you pick the fourth image or... The fourth pile, this is the message for you. You've got clock. Answering the call. The time is now. Now there is a double emphasis on time here. A new earth. It's happening. Keep holding the vision. I love this card. It's so beautiful essential growth you've got three of water three of cups for career you've got nutrition so some of you might be in the food industry we're taking care of people students little kids could be about protection and security and building blocks right so this reading is all about the fastest track to your success how to have a success career so what's coming up first is the essential growth and building blocks i feel like you can still learn a lot and improve your skills and service or whatever you do this is a general reading so it's going to be different for everyone but skill development is essential for your success and you do it in an extensive time frame it's not going to be accomplished in overnight so you take the steady step steady pace wins the race and keep building the blocks another thing is you need to use your time wisely you guys can benefit a lot by scheduling being on top of your day time how you spend time is so crucial you know time is another resource like money so time management is very important by the way i did a pick a card reading about time management so if you resonate with this message i would recommend checking it out and yeah and you've got answering call the time is now again so don't procrastinate what you feel called to and what can help you 
gain more reputation and get closer to success is your friends or colleagues or a group of people but not a bunch of people but a small group there's a support available within your reach so stay connected to these people help you they can support you either emotionally or financially or both being in the right circle of people is going to be really important for your career and gaining reputation so in order to do that part of it has to do with your skill development or knowledge so keep improving and then stay engaged with others but it feels more of like casual informal group of people answering the call i would like to throw some astro dice to get more information oops okay you've got four the fourth house in astrology again again this goes hand in hand with nutrition the house home hospitality could be related to restaurants food nurturing taking care of little kids like kindergarten or like kindergarten elementary or middle school and your maternal leadership is going to help you you've also got libra and moon so again uh, taking care of the emotional needs of others and it can be pretty important to decide how you present yourself the public persona make things presentable with you know social grace and social etiquette try to be moderate and don't go overboard being in the middle staying with the mass and target the people in the mainstream society like strong individuality may not necessarily give you a better chance to climb up the social ladder and this last card is telling you a new earth it's happening keep holding the vision so i feel like a lot of you guys already know where you want to go it's just a matter of developing your skills and accumulating more knowledge in timely manner some of you may be related to health industry nutrition fitness so taking good care of your body as well i feel that some of you guys tend to go overboard again so whether it be related to your career schooling or you know relationship or personal life try to maintain the balance and take care of your body go healthier that may be for specific people and that could be a secondary the most important thing is skill development and stick to it make use of your time take advantage of the time you have don't take it for granted and stay connected to the right people who are being supportive of you and don't ignore the inner voice and when the opportunities are presented in front of you when you're ready with the skills and knowledge you can go forward and that is the fastest track to your success so i hope this is helpful and if you liked it like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the bell button so you get a notification every time i post a video and if you love tarot guidance follow me on tarot day on instagram so that you get daily post for self-love self-empowering messages and i would love to hear from you whether you resonated with that and what you love the most from this reading i hope you have a great day i'll see you in the next one yeah just keep developing your skills i see that you're gonna be very successful and create a whole different area whole different visions you have a very unique visions and that is going to serve a lot of people. This is really great reading. Have a great day. Bye.